everybody, this is Geneva, and um, here is that uh, Christmas album that um, I created for one of my tutorials. Um, I did finish the cover. I put um, Joy on the front, and I did some glossy accents and some um, icicle stickles to um, bring some sparkle to the cover. I hope you can see that. It is really hard for me to tell if that's coming across or not. Um, for those of you that may have missed the video, uh, this is a um, six by six scrapbook. It actually measures six and a half by six and a half on the cover and it's two and three quarter inches deep. Um, e the pattern is very basic and simple and I do have a written tutorial as well as a video walkthrough on how to um, create this style of book. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough for those of you who haven't seen it as I am putting this up for sale um, in my eBay and my Etsy store. Um, I'll have the link to both below, um, but I be warned, I, I really am going to be closing down my eBay store soon, so um, you may just have to go right to the Etsy store. And the prices aren't any different either place, it's just that um, the reason I was using eBay no longer applies much anymore, so I'm switching all my crafting stuff to my Etsy store. So anyway, here we go. Um, the inside cover is a pocket and I utilized the papers as much as I could since this was a teaching video and um, I created two simple tags. Uh, the tabs are the Stampin' Up uh, tab punch and um, I don't know that you can find it anymore. It, it is a long time out of production. I was sad to see it go, but there's other things that you can use to um, make tabs if you want them. Uh, this side of the page has a pocket, and I left that empty, that open, so something could be slipped inside. The um, page opens. You'll notice it has my eighth inch gutter here. So when you put your photos in and your journaling spots or, or whatever you put here, it should not add much space inside your album. It's, it's already, the space is already built in. These are envelope style pages. So there is a large photo mat in between each page. Now, the pages are designed exactly the same. Again, this was a teaching tutorial, and um, I wanted to keep it simple. And as you can see with the use, uh, clever cutting of the papers, this came out really rather nice. Um, this has a magnet. It also has the gutters, the eighth-inch gutter here. A um, a mat cut with the Martha Stewart around the um, edge punch and I used the same punch along the edge here. I think it's a really pretty pretty um, doily punch and it, the punch set is still available. I saw it at um, Michael's the other day. Um, this is a small journaling spot and it is not left open. So this is the same as the previous page. room for tucking anything in there you like. Um, another nice journaling spot or um, you could just you could put all kinds of things. You could embellish this yourself and um, make it your own. Again the eighth inch gutter. Nice, nice big amount of space for all your photos. 
another large photo mat in between. Here's the next page. Um, no, I don't think that one was supposed to be free. Um, flips open with the same size photo mat, magnet closure, journaling spot, pocket, simple photo mat. And this is such traditional Christmas colors that um, you could probably find a lot of embellishments to um, enhance this. Or you know, make them. Again, clever cutting of the paper and um, it came out really, really pretty. This is a uh, die cuts with a view paper from Christmas, I'm thinking two years ago, but you know, you don't have to have the same exact paper. Again, clever cutting of the paper. There, um, you don't have to have the same paper to get a really beautiful look. how and I cut it where memories is up here at the top and then the design at the bottom. It's um, it's okay to be clever with your paper. <laughs> think think about it in different ways other than as a whole. I remember in art school um, and it flabbergasted me to hear it, but it made sense that Artists would do great canvases, and then they would just chop out the pieces that they liked the best. I imagine they probably still do it. Um, and those were the bits that that made it into the frame. Uh, you know, so uh, just because it's all there doesn't mean you have to use it as it is, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, the last page is a pocket page, and I created a couple of, of photo mats for it. And the inside cover, back cover, is a pocket page with, again, a couple of simple photo mats. This could definitely be used as it is, or um, you know, just take it and add your own embellishments. Make it your own. All right, happy Christmas, everybody, and I will see you again with uh, something else.